I was told that Monday that the president would, I had been told all weekend, that the president would be making up his mind, making his decision sometime on Monday. And I had been sitting in my office from eight o'clock that morning, waiting for a phone call. The phone calls I got instead were from my family telling me or asking me what was happening. And I was getting the calls almost hourly. And almost, not, and every hour I would say, I don't know. Two o'clock was arriving and my family had been told that they would have to start moving to the airport shortly. And so they were more and more anxious about whether they should be going to the airport or not. And my response was, I don't know. <laughs> what I was told was that the president had gotten um, uh, distracted with some important other business that was going on at the time, and that he would call me at about 8 o'clock, but that I should go home and pack to come to Washington, and that they would prefer that I didn't take a plane. So I rushed out of my office home, put a suitcase on top of my bed, and with my assistant, Teresa, who had come home with me, we started packing a suitcase. And I called a friend to ask him to drive me to Washington. And he came, or was on his way, and at 8.10, I received the call at my, on my cell phone. And the White House operator tells you that the president is on the line. And you were somewhere on the road at this point? No, I was still in, at home. Still at home, still packing. Mm -hmm. I actually stood by my balcony doors, and I had the, my cell phone in my right hand, and I had my left hand over my chest, trying to calm my beating heart, literally. And the president got on the phone and said to me, Judge, I would like to announce you as my selection to be the next Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. And I said to him, I caught my breath and started to cry and said, thank you, Mr. President. That was what the moment was like.